to the early bird, gon' get the worm. Yeah. I told my squad we gon' make it out. One way or the other. Yeah. Some hoop dreams, but no jumping like I'm at them. My pen is too clean, so I had to stick with rapping. My life is hella deep, dog. You couldn't even fathom. My goals are like Twitter, you can see I'm staying at them. I'm trying to be the go. Every day I'm chasing ghosts like I'm Danny Phantom. And I can sell a nigga, but I'd rather sell a hit. It's my niche. And business sent the beat, so I had to hit the switch. And now you're My game, I ain't talking switch. Man, I'm trying to get rich. I'm trying to make my wrist match the plaques. I started from the bottom, I ain't going back. Told all the dogs, we gon' make it out. I would never fall, you can't take me out. I'm popping like a zig, I'm breaking out. And I am hella lit, you want a couch? They said I wasn't good enough, but they sent one near and not the other. And they don't wanna see me shine like they close the shutters. But when I said I'm top five, I didn't stutter. I put the six on my back like my. So, as you can see, bicep and tricep workout today. I'm going through my warm up series of five, three, two, and three singles before I build up to my first heavy set. I always work with a tempo that I'm going to work with today. So this is a three seconds down, one second pause, and contract. My name is Color, and I got the game in my hand. You would think I'm wearing cutters. They were sleeping on me like they tucked in some covers. But now I got everybody woke like they BLM. It's a single arm preacher curl for the short hit of the bicep. You're going to get a lot more neural drive when you do single arm stuff. So that's why I like to especially start off the session with unilateral wherever you can. For the tricep, I'm going to go close grip bench press. Just one or two key points for the close grip bench press is the width. The width will be shoulder grip. And also, a lot more, you can get a lot more lateral ahead of the tricep if you drive the elbows out. We want to try and take the shoulders and the pecs out of it. So you'll see as I do it. First of all, I'm going to find my shoulder width grip. What you do, center the bar in the middle of the rack, put your arms straight up. You can see it align with your shoulders. Put your hands on the bar, and that's when you see where my close grip bench press is going to be. I then just place my hands right there, lift it off, get as much stability as I can so shoulder blades are back and down to the bench, feet firmly plastered into the ground, and I'm going to drive my elbows out. If you're looking at me from the top, my forearms would look like my biceps are disappeared in the forearms. And that gets a lot more lateral ahead of the triceps. Good compound movement to really get some strength for the triceps. And as always, I'm going heavier each set. I'm guessing I'm going to start my first set with maybe a 20 or a 22 kilo dumbbell. So I'm gradually building up. I started with a 10, which again is 50% of what I plan to be working with today. And the warm up set would tell me a lot more. First set is going to be five reps. So I can already tell that biceps are feeling pretty good today. We can probably go pretty heavy with that thing with a, with a preacher curl is when you got the forearm perpendicular to the fore, biceps not working past that point. So I always try and stop perpendicular to the fore. Again, anchoring in that bench is going to make sure there's more neural drive to the one short head of the bicep. When you use either an easy bar or a straight bar, there's obviously two arms. It's going to be less neural drive to the biceps because you've got one arm that potentially will take over more than the other, usually obviously the, the stronger one. So I'm going to anchor myself in. Feet again firmly planted, down for three. We'll get that one second stretch. And driving. And driving. And that right one's my weaker one today. So that's telling me a little bit on how I'm feeling today. Might actually be starting on a 17, not a, not a 20. Going up again on the bench press. This is feeling okay, but again, it's a little bit less than you would think because you're trying to really isolate the triceps by driving the elbows out. So my mind thinks that I can probably start on 80 for five, but I'm not sure. So we're gonna see what 60 feels like. Like I'm pressing Sam, it was looking dim. I slim like M, it was sink or swim. They hated me, but loved them. Yeah, they put me in the rough, but I was a gym. Told all the dogs, we gonna make it out. I would never. 
So I'm already onto my single reps and my warm up, and this is already a 15. So I'm just going to stick a one kilo magnet on there and see how I feel. So now I've established that my right arm feels a little bit weaker today. Sometimes is, sometimes isn't. So that's it's not always the case for me. So I did chin ups yesterday, so maybe that's why I'm slightly fatigued. So I'm just going to do my single rep, and this is where I'll start to feel if this is going to be good for at least five in my working set. Yep, I think that might be it. This one's going to be a lot easier. I like to stick the dumbbell on the outside because a lot of people will curl with a slightly internal rotator grip, which is fine. But if you want to hit a bit more over the short head of the bicep, I'm going to try and keep the dumbbell flat. The weight on the extra weight on the outside really helps get that. So there's a control. And that's obviously uh, easily 30% stronger today. I do feel a little bit of inflammation in my elbow joint today, probably from the chin ups yesterday. That's typical, it tends to go away after a couple of days. And being onto my singles now, this is feeling pretty good. I want to get closer to my working weight, so I think 70 will be okay. Sometimes even though I feel like it could be good to go, it's um, getting that three, three sets of singles can really start to prime the neural drive even more. The more you come back to those singles, you can actually start to feel stronger. So I always want to make sure, even though I think I'm good to go, those extra three sets are really crucial. Yep. Maybe even more than 80. Uh, so I'm not sure I'm actually going to go up by half a kilo on this. And I'm actually hoping that I do start to feel stronger as I go on this one. Fall, you can't take me out. I'm popping like a zit. I'm breaking out. And I am hella lit. You on a couch. Everybody dissing me. Even yes, Jules. I admit it, yeah, it kinda hurt. It was hella cruel, but I use it as fuel. Ain't no turning back. I told Okay, now with my close grip bench press. I guess of 80 seems to be a bit off today, so. I think I might do a single on 85. And my last single. Don't see me getting any stronger, so I'm gonna do the same weight. Let's just see what happens when we start. Up short, but I never did a board. Now I'm popping like a cork. I'm champagne sipping, cause now we got them clicking. I remember days when people wouldn't listen. I was contemplating quitting, but now I'm dripping like a gutter. You know that's what we came for. And my last warm up set, we'll do 90. We gon' make it out. I would never fall. You can't take me out. I'm popping like a zig. I'm breaking out. And okay, a couple minutes. So I'm gonna take a couple minute break for actually start my first working set. I've already done, um, as I mentioned, my creative exercise for this morning. Done a little bit of neck flexibility exercises. Always contract, relax. We want to actually again uh, start the neural drive into the muscles. Um, I do a little pick major stretch because I'm quite tight through, through the chest and my thoracic spine, so normal range of motion is actually 45 degrees behind me. So I'm always trying to work on that range of motion regardless of what muscle group I'm doing, whether it's legs or upper body. Um, even though I've got arms today, I always try and point with people doing biceps and triceps is obviously the more range of motion you can give yourself, the more ability you have to grow muscle. So if you've got tight shoulders, if you've got rounded shoulders, you're going to be limited in the ability to be able to get your shoulders back, set against the weight to really get full range of motion, and definitely the most muscle contraction. If you're a little bit kyphotic, then it's going to be harder to get most neural drive into those muscles because you're going to get all these other muscles, shoulders, lats to some degree, and neck contracting rather than using the biceps. I'll always work my hips as well, uh, stretch my hips before I start. Um, 
A, that's because I have tight hips and I want to actually improve that mobility. But if from a posture standpoint, if you have really tight hips, whether that forces you into an anterior tilt or a posterior tilt, that then affects your shoulder position as well. So typically with an anterior tilt, it does actually round your shoulders forward. So always working on, I'll always stretch all my tight muscles. I've assessed myself, like I mentioned before, I'll always stretch my tight muscles first. And over time, that mobility is going to change, which then I can change to other muscle groups and limitations that I have. So that's typically how I approach it. I will then do the first, a first set really light really high reps of a um, exercise of that muscle group I'm working today so for today it was biceps and triceps so I did a light um, high cable curl for about 20-25 reps and I did a light rope press down really focused on the contraction and really working on uh, some shoulder some shoulder extension here and that's where the triceps are mostly contracted so that's why I do like the ropes to some degree in order to get that contraction that blood flow into the muscle you're getting full tricep uh, recruitment and that led me into my first set and that's probably why the uh, the biceps felt really uh, the triceps felt really good in the, in the bench press and again my biceps are a little bit lagging behind today they're typically pretty strong I have curled a 30 kilo dumbbell before and today it looks like I'm going to do 16 or 17 kilos could be a little bit delayed from the uh, the chin-ups I did yesterday so I think I'm good to go today um, what I'm going to work with because I am faster it's dominant I'm going to work with heavy first I'm going to do a set of five three two and two sets of singles on those two exercises that's what I'm going to work with today and then I'm going to taper off into a bunch of hypertrophy stuff where everything's about 10 to 12. The reason I do that is I have tested myself and mostly faster it's dominant in the push and the pull muscles. You can do this yourself you choose a push exercise and a pull exercise for example a bench press or a chin up or a preacher curl and you try and find your one rep max. When you find your one rep max take a 10 minute break load up the bar with 85% of that and see if you can do as many reps as possible on that. Now, if you get less than four reps, you're fast rich dominant on that muscle group. And if you get between four to six, you're mixed fiber. And if you're over six, you're slow twitch fiber dominant. First set, we're gonna go for five. Always hit the weak one first. And that should obviously make a lot of sense. If I can only get five reps on my right, but I can get 12 reps on my left, there is no point in taking those both to failure because my left one is just continuously gonna get stronger and stronger and stronger. And this one's always gonna be in pain catch up. So I'm gonna make my right do as many as I can, hopefully it's five, and I'll match it with the left on five. Let's have a look. They said an early bird gon' get the worm. Feel like I'm stuck in line, waiting my turn. All of the L's I took, the lessons I learned. Success it gotta be earned. Uh, tell me why they sleeping on me, on me, oh. Tell me why they sleeping on me, on me, oh. Tell me why they sleeping on me, on me, oh. Tell me why they sleeping on me, on me. So the 90 felt pretty good. Um, I probably could go a bit heavy for the five, but first week on this typical program of the close grip, so I'm gonna stay with this. But as we increase the threes, the twos, and the ones, I'll start to challenge myself a bit more. Find me in the middle of the map, right in the center. I'm a saint right now, but we all born sinners. Take a couple L's if you wanna be a winner. When I think about the beat, it's anonymous. Well, then I've been eating too long, still starving. So I'm see like I got my own garden. And I'm talking to the king while I'm flipping through James, making sure my cardiac don't harden. Uh, my manners, Midwest flow, country grammar, out the slammer. Way too free, and I rep my set. Young OG, loves my drug and I So for the biceps, instead of three, I'm gonna go up by half a kilo. So I'm gonna exchange the 0.5 magnet for a kilo magnet. And same for three. OD, prize my heel, my Achilles. Yeah, let me let it come before the fall. Grace deserving all. My son had me there. Y'all, we took it all. I spit the truth in the booth. Shaking lies all for ya. My God, covered in the blood. You would think that I was fangs on Dracula. My God, flip it all around. You would think he had your life on spatula. All ops will get massacred on the day that he comes right back for us. They said an early bird gon' get the worm. Feel like I'm stuck in line, waiting my turn. All of the L's I took, the lessons I learned. Success, it gotta be earned. Uh, tell me why they sleeping on me, on me, on me. And I'm gonna go up to 95 for three. Oh, tell me why they sleeping on me, on me, on me.
Okay, so I've actually got a 15 kilo dumbbell loaded up with two one kilo plates. That's 17. I'm going to go up to 17.5 dumbbell then. And this will be tough for two. <laughs> Started as an East Coast vibe, now I'm going worldwide, we got this bitch going crazy I used to take the Mazda for a drive, now I'm on the 405, like it's fuck you, pay me We really sick of standing outside, and to push them all aside, it's what you get for trying to play me I bet they make a movie when I die, just to talk about my life, they need an actor to portray me I got this motherfucker clear like a Nidra, I got Elevator flow, I'm on a high top I got little something stacked like an IHOP This is 05, you will put it on your iPod I'ma give you something that you can't forget Put the price up, baby, add the tax a bit No, you saw the comma, thought it was an accident Well, it So usually I take 90 seconds to 2 minutes between each exercise So, the whole idea, especially when you're going heavy If I've done a set of 5 here on the biceps, I take a 2 minute break Do my set of 5 there take a two minute break and come back. I prefer that because that's a good four and a half to five minutes before I was actually here again, especially for maximal nervous system recruitment and muscle contraction. That four to six minute mark is gonna be crucial for relative strength, maximal strength gains. Um, hypertrophy can be a lot less obviously because you're not trying to get um, to some degree as much weight lifted as possible. So some people will go uh, lift one, go to the other and take a say two and a half, three minute break. See the difference there? Three minutes as opposed to five minutes. So in saying that, I'm onto my singles now. So I'm hoping that three to five minute break is really gonna help this. I'm gonna go up to 18 for a single. Was it? It's about time the kids buzzing. I'm trying to get a peek in the elevator. But if we talking peaks, I need mine like the Himalayas. I'm talking yay high, man. I never had a vertical limit. I ain't seen you put in work in a minute. I gotta put on for the family. That goes for every person that's in it. Used to scrape by working as a service attendant. Till I got more. Bitch, I ain't comfy. I need the top floor. Doing anything to get that spot for. Pop so I'm not going too concerned about Addition to my left and the right in the bicep, I have actually done better before, so like I said, it could be a bit of doms from yesterday's workout. Um, but that's exactly what I'm doing at the unilateral exercises to get my weaker stronger. So if I can increase that imbalance, everything's going to go up. My rows will go up, my curls obviously will go up, things like chin ups will go up, my grip strength is going to go up if I can fix that imbalance up. Because you're always limited to your weakest muscle, so it's going to help with everything. I'm not too concerned about that. It'll increase, it'll get stronger as we go. Uh, so we're up to 105. For a single. Started as an East Coast vibe, now I'm going worldwide. We got this bitch going crazy. I used to take the Mazda for a drive, now I'm on the 405. Like it's fuck you, pay. We really sick of standing out. So we've got bicep exercises. Um, you can obviously see I've started with a, a unilateral exercise to get the most neural drive to that muscle. And I've chosen the preacher bench risk targets, the short head. So I always like to vary grips, vary angles, and vary contractions and also very muscle groups. So probably gonna go onto a long head bicep movement, which probably incline curls, one of my favorites. Um, because I'm still fast wrist dominant in that area, I'm gonna try uh, a myometric version, which I'll, I'll show you that, so I can keep the weights heavy. Um, and we'll hit the long head, we'll also hit some brachialis movements. And I'm gonna try a really funky Zotman curl to finish it off. So um, I am onto my last single. I actually feel like I got a single here and a single on the close grip to go. So I'm going to go up again by another half kilo. So we did a 18 kilo. That one there, it's got about 0.5. It's 18 and a half, so last single. Is that right? I had to push them all aside, it's what you get for trying to play I bet they make a movie when I die Just to talk about my life, they need an actor to portray I ain't settling for nothing that be under an M There's only one of me, there's a hundred of them Gotta listen close, I drop hundreds of gems From the start, no, I was a pretend With the world on my back, had to drop my own ego Problems at the crib, we couldn't fix a Home Depot That was on till And obviously see I've used the fat grip, what's some dumbbells One of my favorites, revolving hand such a great dumbbell to put on strength um, I, like I mentioned in my other video neural drive for the muscle um, any sort of curling movements I really like to use the thicker handles um, pressing movements typically I just go normal uh, that's why I didn't put the fat grips on the close grip 
Sometimes I will put the fat grips on shoulder presses, bench presses for that extra neural drive to the muscle. But uh, for any curling muscle, you should definitely try. You can get fat grips, I have them here as well, which you can stick on the bars. Or um, if you can get your hand on some thick grip revolving handles from Watson dumbbells, then you know that's um, one of the best things to do for the biceps. Last one here, feeling pretty good. Um, I'm gonna try 110. Probably could go a bit heavier, but because um, I haven't set it up in the rack, you can see I actually had the rack set up yesterday um, for some, if I, if I need that rack to catch me on the way down. I haven't got a spot, I haven't got the rack, so I'll probably stick to 110. Um, on other days, as this program progresses, I could probably go a bit harder, but if I haven't got a spotter, definitely do it in the cage. Uh, so what did I say? Sorry, 110. That's 110 there. 110. Bombs off the vino, room full of smoke like we lived in a casino. She know, day I moved out is when I opened my eyes. Looking for the truth like God, show me a sign. I'm not religious or the holiest kind. But the blessings came to me when I opened my mind I was running around the city, man, I knew I had to make some Wasn't raised a thief, but if I had to, I would take some Worked the Frito-Lay, I was writing on my breaks, son Plotting on... So next bicep and tricep exercise, I want to move on to some incline curls Like I mentioned, I'm just going to warm up on this angle um, This is more to target the uh, long head of the biceps But actually, the longer, the lower the bench goes The more you're targeting the long head of the biceps so, so let's see how this feels. Also when you do incline curls, the longer you can keep your elbows underneath your shoulders, the more long head bicep you're going to get the recruitment. From about 90 degrees, or actually 90 degrees range of motion, you can afford to swing your elbows a little bit more forward to really target the long head. So all the way down, and all the way up. It's probably going to be about right for the four to six reps that I want to get. Now I'm going to superset that with some lateral tricep bar, one of my favorites. So the key to triceps, obviously, the more range of motion you can get, the more muscle you're going to build onto the triceps. I'm going to decline, and I'm going to build onto the lateral tricep bar from Watson. Really good. Again, you can get the stretch. You can see as I hold it, and my head and my shoulder is going to fit right in between here. So more range, hence the decline position of the bench. Again, more range of the triceps. On a record, waiting for the day we break one. Okay, that's pretty good. So I'm actually gonna go a 30 degree incline. So what I find with most people, particularly myself, I'm pretty good on a 45 degree incline. If I wanna get deeper to activate more long head of the biceps, um, it's probably gonna be more detrimental. I'm gonna feel it more in my shoulders. I'm gonna feel it on my neck just from the, the fact of my muscle mass through my upper back and my shoulders are restricting me getting this position. So if you place a towel right into like, almost like a pillow on the comfortable position of your neck, you're going to avoid that. I actually have a lot of people that actually can't get their head down. So people like this, stick a towel between the head, they're actually going to be a lot stronger. So as, as always, the more stability you can create through the bench, the stronger you're going to be. Now, that's going to make that exercise a lot harder, obviously, and also the myometrics I'm going to do. So with the myometric, I'm going to come up and I'm going to curl for the first 20% of the movement, and I'm going to actually use my triceps to activate and throw the dumbbell down and come back up for one rep. It's obviously going to make the dumbbells weigh a lot more, and it's for me, it's working those fast twitch fibers as well because I'm fast twitch dominant in the biceps. So um, I guess if you're slow twitch dominant, you could go lighter weight and you can work for the 8 to 10 rep, 10 rep range. But then you can think about you're literally doing 20 curls. So I'm thinking of four to six, which again is still in a hypertrophy range, but I'm getting um, basically eight to 12 full curls because every time you're contracting, that's one and you're contracting again. So keep that in mind when you do these myometrics. Let's leave shoulder blades back to increase that range of motion through the shoulder. I'll take a break and I'll move on to my decline tricep extensions. We have a similar myometric fashion on this exercise as well. So resisting with the triceps on the way down, fire the triceps to contract, but then contract biceps to throw the weight down and extend back up. Let's see if we can get at least four. 
Never see me coming, I'ma lay in my hand. Yeah, I ain't taking orders in command like yeah. You about to see me on demand like You know on demand If you ain't know, you about to understand Yeah, I got the team by my side, right hand Yeah, take it to a stream, you ain't seen it like that Yeah, and it's the dream, and we coming for the bag Yeah, and we ain't never going back now Future expedited, now we on the fast track now Tell a man no trouble, I don't want beef man, I just want vibes Big man like me, no need for the telephone hype I got too much getting online, one rule then dead I'm on sight Wrong move, I bet they gon' ride, no need for the telephone hype Nah, no need for the snoozing, big whip outside, I'm cruising Big stick inside, no losing, better watch out for the snake and Judas's Don't ask them who this is, I bet they know what I'm moving in I bet I show it into a dim, how you hate and then lose again? How you hating my vibes? Why you wasting my time? Getting hype on my line. Tell a man I don't want feedback. I just want relax. Brand new whip, two tone. I need that brand new hit. You know, like lean back, brand new bits. I live in we back, man. You never gon' like us. Get them on sight now. Let them all light that way. They know I'm more righteous. Look at my life. I'm living all right. I'm nice. You know I'm all right. Cuss. Looking like Christ. No need for the hype or fight or telephone vipers. No need for the telephone vipers. No need for the liars. I don't watch your moves or triers. I got much to do. I'm Bias. Big bosses move in silence, watch it No need for the liars, I don't watch them move and triers I got much to do, I'm biased Big bosses move in silence, yeah me, I'm moving quiet Ask me, I'm needing an island New watch is perfect timing No need for the surface shining Ask me, I need me a few, I need me an island I'm keeping it true, the man I'm a wild I'm keeping it cool No need for the telephone hype from you, you Yeah, tell the man no trouble, I don't want beef man, I just want vibes Big man like me, no need for the telephone hype I got too much getting online One rule, then dead I'm on sight Wrong move, I bet they gon' rise No need for the telephone hype, yeah Tell a man no trouble, I don't want beef man, I just want vibes Big man like me, no need for the telephone hype I got too much getting online One rule, then dead I'm on sight Wrong move, I bet they gon' rise No need for the telephone And then when the rope tricep, like I mentioned at the top of the video when I did my warm up set um, Definitely in that full range of motion with that shoulder extension but another thing is you're limited to the amount of contraction you can produce through the triceps through the amount of stability you have to your body. So when people have rounded shoulders and they're just pushing like this, yes, you'll get tricep contraction, but at what point? There's not much here. You're probably only getting your tricep maximum recruited down there. If you can create the most stability through your body and having your shoulder blades back, the only muscle that can do the work is the triceps, again, through the full range of motion. So the one leg in front, again, to create more stability. And I'm trying to drive past my body the best I can. Some people are stopped here. Again, you're going to get more triceps if you get that shoulder extension. So taking it all the way through behind the body. You won't get every contraction like that, but you're trying to. Hi, yeah. So I'm actually quite done with the amount of volume I've done today. I've done 11 sets on the biceps, 11 sets on the triceps. I'm actually quite happy with that volume, right? And that sort of maximal strength and also high pressure for rep range and set range. So, but I did say at the start, I was going to do a fancy Zotman curl to finish it off. So I'm going to do a couple of sets of that now. So really good one to overload the biceps because we talked about that stretch position before. I'm going to get into a seated position on the ball. We're going to curl in this position. I'm then going to pick my hips up, drop my head down on the ball, twist the dumbbells completely pronated, and resist with the biceps on the way down so you can see that stretch in that bicep. Drop down, curl, pick up, eccentrically load those biceps up on the way down. Big man like me, no need for the telephone hype. I got too much getting online. One rule, then dead I'm on sight. Wrong move, I bet they gon' rise. No need for the telephone hype, nah. Me how I'm living, I'm telling them great. Ask me how I did it, I'm telling them grace. 
ask me how I'm living, I'm telling them great New me, no time to waste, look at me and see I don't play I keep running, no out of shape, need a hero, go find a cape New me, no time to waste, look at me and see I don't play I keep running, no out of shape, need a hero, go find a cape Hey, no need for the B-roll, I was masked up and no hero Breakfast in the morning, it was cereal and an Ebro That boy keep going in, I can't let it go but get lethal Watch how I'm showing it from... So I thought I'd share one last thing with you, if you really want a really good tricep workout that takes under five minutes and you don't want to be able to bend your arms for the next seven days, give this one a go. So we're going to go into some barbell tricep extensions, so it's all body weight, but the nature of the movement is you've got your hands at shoulder width, you want to try and tuck your elbows in, that's the mistake a lot of people make, so you want to load up the triceps, so tuck your elbows in, and you're going to go underneath the bar and get a good tricep stretch, so it does work a lot of core as well, you're going to push back. It's going to use a lot of momentum because it's a fast movement because you're trying to get this all done as fast as you can. So as long as the more you go under, a lot of people will turn this into a press. It's not a press. A lot of people will go straight down here. You want to try and get as much tricep equipment as you can. You know, I'm all about range of motion. So driving all the way under and pushing back. What you're going to do, you can set a timer and get this done as fast as you can. Set a 15, set a 12, set a 11, set a 10, set a 9, set a 8, two sets of seven, a six, a five, a four, a three, a two, and a one equals 100 reps. You can do that as fast as you can. I'm going to give it a go now. You can do as much volume as I can on the triceps, and let's see how I go. So 15 reps, first up. KFK down the heat flow again, uh, I gotta keep going and uh, I beat the reek go again, uh, I'm going beast mode again, keep flowing and keep knowing that I've arrived and keep blowing it, five aside that ball's going and many time I never blow it, I'm in my prime, whoa, 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 whoa. As much rest as you want before you go into your 12. Ask me how I did it, I'm telling them grace. Ask me how I'm living, I'm telling them grace. Ask me how I did it, I'm telling them grace. Ask me how I'm living, I'm telling them grace. New me, no time to waste. Look at me, you see I don't play. I keep wanting no out of shape. Need a hero, go find a cake. New me, no time to waste. Look at me, you see I don't play. I keep running no out of shape. Need a hero, go find a cake. That's already 11. I need all the wins, yeah Pay no L's, I gotta get a no call and quit, yeah Gotta keep on moving no matter how hard it gets, yeah Better move out the way cause I'm coming with harder hits My head is as hard as a brick but I'm harder than all it is You, better move, you might get knocked out Some days I don't eat, I don't sleep When I'm focused on dangerous They don't wonder when I'm anxious Ain't no limit to the tank I'm running on fumes The hollow system don't amaze The road switch through the pain to get your hands off my bag I know that's because I've been in it I don't need the bag I guess that's what happens When you taking care of your business But some family, you do the math If I'm out of my pocket Houston, we got a problem I ain't perfect, let them watch me Elevating, got them noxious Cause I'm the pilot in the cockpit No stopping, ain't the option Woo! Watch out, get ahead Watch out, get ahead Watch out, get ahead Woo! Watch out, set it up Bet you I shut it down Watch out, get away Really wanna come, I guess the one got a finger on a pen on a grenade I ain't never been the way you think you can pay I'm a line, but the one up on the cage I need all the wins And there you go Again guys, make sure you Please subscribe Like and comment on this video And we'll do more I appreciate it And I'll see you guys in the next workout Yeah Pay no L's, I gotta get a no call and quit Yeah Gotta keep on moving no matter how hard it gets Yeah Better move out the way Cause I'm coming with harder hits My head